With the weather now changing, getting a bit colder and damper, it's time to put a bit of protection on the bike. Today, in less than five minutes, I'm gonna show you how to put this on, ACF 50. It's absolutely brilliant. I've been using it for around five years. I use it on marine engines in the boat. Um, it's never let me down. I also did a test against some other cheaper products. Uh, I'll put a link to that at the end of the uh, video. To make it easier to get a fine mist, it's best to heat the AFC 50 up for at least 10 minutes in some hot water. Makes things much easier. Whilst I'm waiting for the ACF solution to warm up, let's go and get the bike prepped. Always make sure the bike's cleaned off first. I'll put a card up of how to clean your bike without any swirl marks using a detailing brush above. One place you don't want to put any AFC 50 is on your brakes and wheels. So we need to give those a good cover. Okay, that's the front wheel sorted, all protected. What I'll do is apply the ACF 50 and then use that once it's dried for the rear wheel. Okay, the ACF 50 is at about 10 minutes now to heat up. I'm just gonna put it into its dispenser and uh, get it put on the bike. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Don't need much. A little goes a long way with this stuff. Feel that's nice and warm. By heating it up, it just atomizes much better and you get a much better spray. There we go. Okay, the bike's prepped. Time to put on the ACF 50. For any underneath sections, underneath the engine, just wipe it on with a cloth. Just make sure you get everything under there. Unfortunately, it started raining, so I've had to can the, uh, the back wheel. I'll do that at a later date, but hopefully you get the gist of it. As you can see here now, it's all dried. What I've got is basically a thin protective film over the complete bike. The only place it's not on is the brakes and wheels. I should keep it hopefully protected for about 12 months. 